Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 49 of the Hardcore Let's Play series. We are going to be working on a leather worker trading hall today, getting this guy home. But first, as usual, we have a couple things to do. Look at that thing up in the sky. Look at these all in the sky. I am so happy with this world now. As usual, we have a couple things we need to do before we get done. Let's head up right to the hot air balloon. The world download is about to be available, so we got a couple things that we got to clean up and a couple things that we got to add to the world. Here's what we worked on the last episode, and thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate y'all. This thing was so fun to make. We put an aquarium on the inside of a hot air balloon, and we're about to actually add a couple more fish. Let's get you in here. We'll get you, you, and you. It's kind of funny. I realized all the cod roll together and all of the tropical fish hang out in their own little groups. We have our updated AFK platform right here that used to sit high above the sky. Now it looks like it's well underwater, but believe it or not, we are way up in the sky. Been AFKing here for a couple of days, but I think what we're going to do is get a YouTube stream going and get an iron farm at spawn. That way we don't have to AFK anymore. The thing's just going to keep going all the time. Let's pop out here. There's actually something, or someone rather, that I wanted to show you guys. All of the villagers that we had moved around a couple episodes ago, well, one of them made their way all the way up into the watchtower over here. Dude, <laughs> what are you doing and how'd you get up here? Honestly, these views are kind of unbeatable over here. This guy might have the best spot on this land. This guy doesn't have a name, so we're gonna name you Buster Brown, and he also doesn't have any cake, so you know what? We're gonna give him some cake. I'm willing to bet he also would like a bed. Let's get that right here. Let's just get some oak signs going right here so he has a little bit of ledge. And while we're naming stuff, I actually wanted to head down to the polar bear sanctuary. Let's fly right over this little island campsite and name some of these guys. Yo, actually, wait, hold on. Somebody moved into the island. First guy ran away, but this guy looks like he's making himself right at home. Good on you, buddy. Good on you. All right, so let's actually name these guys. We got Pappy right here looking like Pappy. And I think this guy right here staring me in the face. I think that's Pancake. Now we have Pam, Pat, Pappy, and Pancake. Oh, I also forgot to mention, if anyone is wondering, I do have a smaller totem right now, and that's because of a resource pack called Smaller Totem. I'll actually put the link for that resource pack down in the description for my videos now since I'm using it. Let's fly right over here. Oh, yeah, so the horse that was spinning, that horse disappeared. I don't know, maybe he spun and, like, flew away. I'm really not sure what happened, but we did gain a stew. Stew's over here just chilling. He's been on this dripstone for a couple of days now, and he came from all the way over on the other side of the island, like, all the way over here, right where this cat sanctuary is and this little pond that we had actually made on a brand new stream. By the way, feel free to stop by any time. It is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. But he used to be the scaffolding camel that was right there, and he somehow traveled all the way back to the starter house. Which I do gotta say really does mean that Stu is a real one. You guys have given a bunch of good names in the comment sections down below, and please keep giving your ideas for names. I would love to hear more. But for now, we do have a couple cats that we're gonna name right now, and we're gonna bring them back to the cat sanctuary. We got Gertie right here. We have Carpet right here. We have Shelly, and we also have Dirt. I have a feeling we're going to have a problem with dirt. He's kind of a troublemaker. Come on, guys. You got this. Almost here, cats. Are you with me? It looks like we still... Okay, we have three. Let's walk through here. Single file now, cats. One teleported. Carpet. Gertie can sit. Looks like Shelly's up here bouncing around. Sit down. This means we lost dirt. I'm telling you, I knew this was going to happen. Dirt's just going to show up one of these days, and we'll have to take him back here on his own. Okay, never mind. Dirt is actually literally right outside. Let's get right back in. Come on now, Dirt. You can just sit down right here, buddy. Thank you very much. You know what? I think you guys deserve a cake. There's one more mob that I wanted to name real quick, and so we're going to head over to the Donkey Sanctuary. Love that we can fly under this hot air balloon on our way there now. Let's pull up right into the front yard. Let's see, can we hop in? We can. I think it's time we give them a cake. And we got Dennis right here. We got Dexter. No name, you got Doris. Thanks again, guys, for throwing all the names down in the comment section down below. I really do appreciate it. I would love to hear more of them, so keep throwing them down there. Now, since the World Tour and World Download is going to be next episode, we should be at the Cartography Trading Hall right now, but I feel like we should get that done at the end of the episode after we get this trading hall built. That way we don't have to run through the map update twice. So what I was thinking we do in the meantime is update these goal boards. I know that we have one here and one all the way on the other side. Maybe we should just combine those. But if we fly down over here, we can take the Pop Museum, Custom Cherry Blossom Grove, Armory with new trims, and Flower Petal Farm over to the other one. 
there we go not bad we got all this updated here but uh now i've been thinking maybe let's go to the nether let's put a goal board in there so what i did was on the way to the frog light farm was put the hanging signs above my head showing all of the goals that i have for the nether first is going to be the nether hub then we're going to do the netherite beacon we have a ghast sanctuary coming up zombified pigment sanctuary coming up too the Wither Skelly Farm is necessary, same as the Piglin Trading Hall. I've never made one of these, so I really want to get that done. And then, of course, a Nether Starter House. I've never made one of those either, so I think we should just get one of those done. All in due time, though. That's the point of this goal board. We're going to get these goals done. I think we're going to start off just making the Nether Hub first, though. So this whole thing right here is about to get expanded. I'm actually going to head down over here because I need to get outside the glass tunnel because I had left a beacon when we had made that gold farm all the way out here. Here's the bastion with all of the, oh my gosh, so much blackstone. We still have to take this back. And there's the beacon. We got to get this thing home. You're coming with me, friend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Got the beacon and I got the iron. Let's actually go back home real quick. I got something to deal with regarding some iron. I gotta be careful landing here too. I always forget that this is just so much lava. Having troubles getting through the door there, buddy? I'm, I I opened it for you. The bed's right... Are you are you okay, buddy? Here you go. There, there you go. See ya. Okay, so about that iron, we do have another golem infestation. So uh, we're gonna have to start taking these guys out. Sorry, dude. I will... Uh, I'll see you later. For, this is just like an iron farm itself right here. They just keep getting trapped in this little spot. I wonder how much we can count also. This is one. We got two in the house again. Number three over here is stuck on my lecterns. Before he got stuck, he must have pushed Santa off his cake. Santa, get back on the cake. Thank you very much. Stop spawning golems, buddy. It's becoming a little bit too much. Take these guys out, too. There's four and five in here. Sorry, number four. And sorry, number five. We got number six coming after me right here. Okay, you're going down, buddy. Number seven's trying to hide behind this tree right here. I think I see you, buddy. Number seven is down. And those were just the guys that were wandering around the starter house. We have number eight right here, but I'm never taking this guy out. He's doing great. You, sir, not so much, though. You need to step it up. We might need to start taking some villagers to become leather workers. And this guy right here seems like a very nice candidate. I'm going with you, buddy. Actually, you're coming with me. This guy's going to live a very long leather working life. And he is extremely happy about it. You can just see it right in his face. Oh, my God. I see two iron golems right there. What is what's happening? There's officially a takeover. Ooh, and I did want to show you guys, recently on a YouTube stream, we had made two of these cozy little boats right here. You're gonna have to wait, Buster. Wait just one second. I'm gonna hop in here. We have two little houseboats here that villagers have actually made their way to and then jumped off. I'm not sure if they're here anymore, but I'm gonna keep building boats here that are just gonna be parked in between all of these docks. These are pretty much the same as the mangrove boat in front of the starter house. Actually, I'll show you guys that right now. We built this guy over here in a long play a couple months back, but now we have a spruce version and a jungle version. And I'm gonna keep building a lot more of these around the city. Dude, I can just hear Stu. What's going on, man? Do you need help getting off this dripstone? Actually, wait, nope. You're gonna stay right there. I kind of like you right there. Dripstone Stu is what they call you. All right, now let's get you to the official spot of the trading hall. We're gonna go past the new starter house over here. Across this empty land that will soon be filled. Now this one right here, this actually covers a giant hole that we had dug out on stream. And I experimented with the colors on the roof a little bit. We got spruce, birch, and cherry. We got bricks, we got spruce and obsidian down here. Random assortment of furnaces and amethyst and torch flowers. Got a wandering trader that seems to like this area back here. Recently, I started in between all of the builds because I had been neglecting some of the spots. I started putting little campfires in between. Small campsites and small ponds really bring out all the big builds. Gotta remember to think about all the little things when you're building a huge world like this. Let's see what's going on with your wallet, buddy. You got the pink tulips, acacia, purple dye, the blue eye. You know what? I'm just going to take this stuff from you because I want to. Don't necessarily need this stuff, but I'm going to take it from you anyways. I do want your leads, though, buddy. Thank you very much. Ow, do not spit on me, sir. They attacked me first. You saw it. It's nice that the flower farm is starting to get enclosed by more buildings. The giant leather worker trading hall is about to pop up right here. But I do want to show you guys the interior real fast. This is the spiral mine shaft that we had made. And again, on the interior, we were kind of experimenting with a bunch of different materials to see what we could get. But this thing goes all the way down to bedrock, and it's kind of like a roller coaster. Let's actually just uh, see how this thing goes. All the way down to the bottom we go. This thing is crazy. It's kind of hard to get the camera angle going. I kind of have to always twist. It's fun thinking of different ways to get all the way down to bedrock. But we can pick this thing up right here, throw it on the item frame, and we have a zombie head down here now. I love that we have these in the world now. I had completely forgotten about charged creepers. 
But this right here is the small room that we have at Bedrock. And actually, I would like to get one of these hallways going all the way to the giant room that we have dug out for the Deep Slate. We do have four different pathways here that I'm going to use for a Deep Slate mine, but one of them is going to lead to the giant room that we had been making. I think we have a couple hundred blocks to dig. It shouldn't be too much. Well, of course, we're running into a big pocket of lava. Let's break this down. Get all this out of here. Oh my gosh, I found there's an unusual amount of lava all the way down at Bedrock. Oh, okay, we made it to the other side. Got some slimes down there. Nice. Sorry, slime, but you're gonna have to be gone. Thank you very much. We ended up getting quite a bit of materials when we were digging out this tunnel here. Got a shulker box full of goodies and a decent amount of diamonds. Let's take the redstone all the way back upstairs. This might be my new favorite way of getting back up to sea level, though. Put that back and we'll head over here. We actually have 13 villagers that are ready to go. These guys are ready for the leather worker lifestyle. Before we started building here, I wanted to set up a color palette. So I set up a cauldron here and uh, we started working with a little bit of the concrete. Now we have not worked with a lot of concrete yet, but first you just need some sand. You need four placements for the gravel and you need four placements for the sand and you can get all your concrete powder. Now at first it has a really nice gravel-like texture still, but when you place it in the water it becomes much more solid. That's why I was thinking we have the gray and the light gray concrete with the gray concrete powder that we could use mostly for this build. Looks like I might be using a little bit of the black concrete powder for the line right here and a little bit of the cyan terracotta. For some reason cyan terracotta ends up looking a little gray and I think that's going to work out very well. Now, since we're not using our totem, we have to make sure that the door is closed behind us. We're going to load up a bunch of concrete powder into the dropper here. Make sure you have some concrete powder in your offhand, and then away you can go. This thing works absolute wonders. It's a little loud, but man, is it quick. Before you know it, you're loaded up with concrete, and uh, we can get to building. What I'm going to do is get the basic square shape of the cauldron going, and then the four corners here, so we have to lift up four sides in the middle. Just going to replicate this thing and make it about 20 times as big as the one block. We're going to have to bring out some of the land right here because I kind of want to just start right about here. Let's go over maybe 21 blocks. Let's go up by 21 blocks here to make a cube. Oh, this better be a cube or else I'm going to have to take all this down and that's going to be a little bit of work. Well, all right. That definitely looks like a cube. It's not too big, not too small. It's definitely a little bit bigger than the cat sanctuary, much bigger than this spiral mine shaft. So I'm probably going to start off using a bunch of this gray concrete, but we're going to have to switch off with a little bit of the cyan terracotta for a little bit of texturing. The cyan terracotta, for some reason, is the only block that gets a little bit close other than the gray concrete powder. Put a little bit of this in. That's not too bad. But still, it is going to be mostly the gray concrete. And with a lot of the gray concrete powder with a lot of the gray concrete mixed in, we have ourselves a cauldron. Let's fly out here real quick make our way back around and show you guys what we got real quick big cauldron this thing is huge i think the next step that we need to take is filling this whole thing with water because after all it is a cauldron i think it resembles the cauldron a little bit we'll get that black stripe going down the middle and we'll get some details on the outside but when we get the water bucket in the middle the cauldron it looks like there is one block down for the water so let's go up top place a bunch of dirt this is just going to allow me to get a bunch of source blocks at these upper levels Get you here, let's get you there, get you right over here, sir, thank you very much. Okay, you got that done, I believe we can just take away this layer of dirt. Be gone, sir, thank you very much. Well, I should have known this was going to happen. All of the concrete powder that I had in here is now just regular concrete, so look at all, all of this stuff right here. Oh, and I fell to the bottom. All of this concrete powder right here. Yeah, as soon as we take the dirt away, it uh, it turns right into concrete. I, I should have thought about that, but it doesn't matter. This is about to be an aquarium, probably, so uh, it doesn't really matter what the walls are made out of. It only matters what life we bring inside of here. But first, we should probably focus on getting these guys into this building. I actually made a checkerboard floor down here for them to enjoy. Kind of like a big dance floor, but we're going to turn this into a big trading hall. Most of the structure we did on stream, and thanks for joining on that stream if you guys did, I do appreciate that, but we did forget a couple of things like these spruce fence gates right here. Something that's about to make this trading hall a little bit more unique is the particles coming from the water dripping from the ceiling. I actually like that a lot, I didn't think about that effect. These villagers might not be smart enough to know where they're about to be working for the rest of their life, so let's get a structured path going. I was moving these guys into this dirt circle here so they don't leave, and I noticed that one of the boats is uh, completely empty, which means something bad happened to this villager. I will not speak of that, though. We have plenty more villagers. I'm going to close this up so you guys can't leave and pretend like nothing happened. 
I'm just going to spam some cauldrons in here a little bit so that they can take some jobs once they get in here, and uh, then we'll move them into more structured locations. All right, guys, you may be free. Let's start off one and two. This guy, on the other hand, loves the leather work in life. Never mind, he had second thoughts. He's like, give me the work. The floodgates have opened. Let's get you out. Let's get you out over here. Let's get you out and you out. Leather workers, rise. Everybody go. We must work the leather or we are nothing. Move, boys, move. Looks like everyone's making themselves at home in here, except we do have some freeloaders still down here. Ah, uh, buddy, I see you made the right choice, but you two over here, while you're freeloading? While they're still making the decision of whether or not they want to work, let's see what we need to trade with all these guys. Fly through the flower garden, let's lock in a couple of these trades over here. Usually, I think they start off mostly just trading leather. We'll lock you in, buddy, thanks for the emerald. We'll get a lot of these guys locked into their trades. We can get these guys zombified so we can get down to, I think, a one-for-one -one trade on the leather. And we can get an armory with all these new leather pants and tunics. Thank you for the trade, buddy. I really appreciate you. I think it's only right that we get a glowstone tower in the middle of this room, and then I think we need to start working a lot of these guys into some stations. We can take the water right here and kind of work them into the glowstone corners in the middle. We can also work them into the corners on the sides over here. We just need to figure out how we want this decorated, mostly. Hey, guys, uh, how about we get to work, man? The team is only as strong as its weakest players. Got this last guy into his spot here. Now he for sure cannot leave. We have two cauldrons in each corner, and we have four of them in the middle. Just going to take this away. They shouldn't be able to leave. I'm going to let this all be open, because the zombie is going to come through and get these guys to the one-for-one -one trades on this leather. Decided to get a little bit of the acacia wood going in here for some more color, and if we go through the back, we actually have some roads that I started hooking up. This front side, I think we're just going to let have some beach access, but if we go to any of the other three sides, there's a little bit of a path that leads here. This guy's roaming around free while these guys, well, they're here forever. We'll get all the cauldrons back into place, and we'll get this interior decoration going as soon as we get them all zombified and cured, but uh, in order to get that done, it needs to be nighttime because uh, the zombie's going to burn. Last episode, we accidentally burned one. We will not let that happen again. But while it's daytime, let's head up the scaffolding and see if we can get some decoration on the outside. I did a little bit of testing, and I think the cobbled deep slate walls and these deep slate brick walls, these are going to be the ones that kind of are the closest in color to the gray concrete powder and the gray concrete. Also, it looks like a lot of this kelp is almost fully grown. We're going to keep letting this grow. Once these are all water source blocks, we're going to get some fish and some coral up in here. We're going to do wall defense to chain to lantern action on the corners. And at the very top, we're going to add some azalea bushes. Dead bushes with the leaves right on top always works. And we'll get this design going all the way down with one block skipped on each row. We're about to use a lot of walls, a lot of fences, a lot of chains, and a lot of lanterns. Not bad at all. We can actually probably get some fence gates down here. Let's get some of the oak fence gates and alternate them with the brick walls. We'll go bing, bang, boom, and bop. Actually, on the bottom here, I thought maybe in the corner we add the campfire for some light. Let's get the trapdoors around that. Not too bad. I'm liking this. Let's get this on every corner. Both sides not looking too bad here. Let's, uh, let's go over here and put some torch flowers down. And it looks like the sun is on its way down, so let's actually head and grab that zombie. I'm going to fly on over to the underground library. Hi, everybody. How's it going over here? We're going to make our way behind everything, and uh, there should be a zombie still back here. Anybody home? What's going on? We have zombie right here. Ow, dude. All right, buddy. Just follow me this way. It is nighttime. No iron golems around. Let's shut this. All right, follow me, dude. I preemptively got all of these snow golems out of the way, so there's no defense system. Just a little bit further past the spiral mine shaft. Let's open this fence gate and follow me in here, buddy. Jump past you over here, lock you in, and you're good to go. I'm just going to chill outside here. I'm going to hide behind this, and uh, he's going to forget that I'm even here. Ouch, I'm listening to people getting smacked. That's no... Ooh, we got two zombies already. Buddy, you're doing a great job. I'm just going to hang out in this scaffolding for a little bit while he's doing his thing in there. Coming back, we have our Potion of Weakness, and we have our Golden Apples. This guy is completely blocked off by some Azalea Bushes. Let's throw one down right here. Let's cure you. Let's cure you. Get one down in this corner. Let's uh, go here. Let's get one down in this corner. Bing, bang. Let's go over here, get a boom, and get a bop. I like this middle right here, because we just got four of them with one Splash Potion. Ow, dude! This guy right here stole a leaf. You better put that down, Buster. These guys right here look like a dance crew right now. Let's go. Looks like everyone's being cured right now. I think we just need to sit here and wait. 
And while we're waiting on these guys to get cured, let's go to the tippy top. I think it's about time we take the kelp out of here. We have risen. Let's go down to the bottom. I think we're gonna have to put a bunch of sea pickles down here. Let's get the coral here. Oh god, that's loud. We're gonna have a bunch of kelp. Oh my god, my ears! I don't know why, but this kelp is looking mighty tasty right now. It's a little too dark down here. Let's get some sea pickles on the floor. And since this is a custom aquarium, let's get some of this coral up against the wall. Growing itself out of the floor here. Ooh, I actually hear them getting cured. Let's go down here real quick. Can I hop down? I'm very curious as to what the trades are going to be. Let's see what value we got. And oh my god, it's one for one immediately. Let's go, dude. Start trading with all these guys. I want to see what they have at master level. One emerald for a nice pair of leather boots. I'll take four. Took a lot of leather boots, leather caps, and leather tunics to get traded here. But we ended up getting some of these guys as masters. And I don't really care so much for the flint trades. Honestly, the one zombification I think is good now. Let's get this guy out of here. See you later, buddy. So many tunics, man. We have so many tunics. I think we can take these trapdoors out. Let's put the logs in the middle. Strip those. I think we can strip the logs in the corners now, too. I want to fly over to the lava farm real quick. I haven't been over here in a while, but now we actually have a use for it. I haven't really been using lava as a fuel source since we had the blaze rods, but, uh, you know, it's nice to come back here. There's a couple places I wanted to slap the lava in here because lava can actually fit into the cauldrons and so can some water. Unfortunately, we can't dye the water. I think that's only a bedrock addition feature and unfortunately we can't do that here. The lava here is making everything look nice and bright in the middle. We got the surrounded cauldrons filled up with water. These guys are all backed up into their corners. They are not going anywhere and they are ready to trade. We got the master levels here. I think the last thing I wanted to do to the interior was get on the floor some ferns in each of the corners. Don't want to get too much because now that we have the lava, anything too close, especially wood or plants, will burn. Last thing I wanted to do to the interior was get on the floor some ferns in each of the corners. Don't want to get too much because now that we have the lava, anything too close, especially wood or plants, will burn. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of tropical fish. Let's put them all in the hot bar and let's fly in. We have a brand new custom coral reef on the inside here. A lot of the glow lichen has been growing on the inside here, and we actually don't have to use much lighting on the outside because the glow lichen has made its way on the way up, and it has a light level of 7. So that's pretty nice. This thing is going to be well lit up top. Let's get these fish on the inside here, though. These guys are going to make themselves at home. Got three more. Here we go. Beautiful. Make yourselves right at home, fish. We're going to have to make a building for that concrete maker over there. It can't just be sitting out in the open like that. Let's go down, take a quick nap, and then take a flight out. I want to see what this thing is looking like. Hop down over here to the concrete maker. Nice, dude. We got the campfires on the side. We got the cherry leaves at the top with the cobbled deep slate and the deep slate bricks with the azalea leaves. Not too bad. I feel like a nice addition to the aquarium would be some ducks. Let's throw, let's throw some chicken eggs up in here. I think this might be inescapable, so sorry about this, little chickens. But uh, we're gonna, this is going to be an aquarium and a duck pond. Okay, so now that we have the trading hall built, we can actually fly over to the cartography trading hall and get this map updated. We have about four months worth of buildings to update here, so this is going to be quite a bit. Okay, we already have run into a problem. We have a guy on the roof. Right? What are you doing up here, dude? How did you even get up here? Is this even... Is, how is this even a possibility? Well, I guess he actually could have gone up these stairs all the way over through here and through this room onto this porch, but then he somehow got over the gate. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's drop you down here, buddy. See you later. You have been saved, and over here I have noticed what is going on. Why does everybody decide to keep getting caught in the azaleas? You could be here forever, but luckily I'm nice and I'm in the saving mood. Get a job, buddy. Reintegrate yourself. Thank you very much. We have a lot going on here. Yeah, okay, so we... Oh my god, the harbor's not even on here. We have everything. The bamboo farm's up here. We just built the giant cauldron right here. The town has moved all the way out here. This lava lake is gone. All these trees are gone. We have multiple builds in the water. We gotta get this thing updated. Let's start taking these off one by one and uh, let's see what this looks like. Let's move out here. Oh, look at all that getting updated. Beautiful. Going towards the harbor, getting updated. Nice. City's changing slowly over here too. That is so cool to see. Cauldron on this map is looking like a giant square. Got to make sure the hot air balloon is on the map. And I think if we turn around, we got to get this iceberg out here on the map too. And we'll go around the corner, get the complete iceberg over here. Buddy, you have escaped, and I wonder what your fate will be. Are you just going to hang out here, or are you going to decide where your home's going to be? 
So we actually just got word of the mob vote picks, and it's going to be between the crab, the armadillo, and the penguin. So down below in the comment section, let me know what you guys think you would like to win. I honestly think all three of them would be super cool in the game, but uh, I think, I don't know, man. I think I might be Team Crab. Gotta get over here updated because we finally have a nice little Halloween build in this world. We have a giant pumpkin patch, and this was made over a new long play that we made right before this came out. Thank you guys for watching this, by the way. I really do appreciate it. It took a lot of pumpkins. I mean, it was about a stack of pumpkins per giant pumpkin, but it was worth it. This ended up looking really nice. Got a lot of podzel and coarse dirt everywhere with the pitcher plants. I think that brings out the orange and all the pumpkins out. Can't forget the villager transport system out here. Also, now would be a good time to show you since it's up on the map, we have a brand new mycelium farm. I didn't want to keep going back to the mushroom island to keep getting mycelium, so on a quick YouTube stream, and feel free to stop by the YouTube streams anytime, but on a quick stream, we actually put a bunch of dirt up in here. We got some mycelium in the middle that can never be taken out, and some mycelium on all of the corners that are covered up by some clay pots. But basically, the mycelium is going to spread here, and uh, we'll be able to just come back anytime and get it farmed out. It's nice to have some paths leading away from this main path going to island number two. We have the new version of Rainbow Mountain starting to make its way onto the map over here, and I think the last block is going to poke right there. This updated map is crazy. It's going to be nice to have some stuff on the northern part of the island to finish that off, and then we can start building in the desert. I think I want to do a custom desert village. Also, this desert ravine right here has a lot of potential, as well as this little plains biome that we got to build in. You can see all the charged creeper blasts on that beach. Let's go hang out by that cauldron just a little bit more. Giant cauldron not looking too bad. Let's go check on the ducks real quick. How you doing, buddies? Try not to eat all the fish, okay? Down here checking on the boys in the trading hall. What is going on, fellas? Thank you for being here. Thanks for trading with me for the rest of your life. And thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. All of the new YouTube members, welcome in. All of the Patreon supporters, thank you very much. And all the Twitch subscribers, thank you guys. I appreciate all the support. I'll see you guys next time for episode 50 for the world tour and world download. I'm super excited about that. But in the meantime, just take care of yourself and do something nice for somebody. Bye.